my cab guy just decides to show up every day at like 15 minutes before my actual pickup time and so I'm always hurrying. <laughs> this is not the fun way to start the morning. My brain is completely fogged this morning and I realized I haven't journaled in like a week now. So we gotta quickly remedy that. Done, problem solved. But then I couldn't get anything done in the checklist today because today is an interview drive. The sun, the sun gods are not good to me today. It's funny because I'm meeting Salish today for tea. Uh, hardly enough I made. I'm making my drive away. I'm making my drive away because I'm running late out of a meeting. After comedy of errors was completely like talking on the phone and got into the different cab. And that's when like the driver looks at me and like, you don't look like the guy that's supposed to pick me up. The topic for today is evaluating people during interviews. Buying the fact that you have to evaluate them my take on it is to make them as comfortable as possible and treat it more as a discussion than an evaluation. I mean, the more you kind of treat it as an evaluation, you're looking for a yes and no, versus if it's a discussion, you're trying to get to know the thought process of the person, which is more relevant because if the person doesn't have the skill, they can always de develop it. But if the person doesn't have the right thought process and the mental composure, then you're not going to be able to work with them. But that is, that is key. Uh, it's 5.30. What I was talking about in terms of evaluating people, it's the idea is, I know there are organizations out there which are constantly looking for hiring candidates that know exactly how to solve the given problem that's already readily available on the internet. I'm not one of them. I'm okay if the candidate that's coming to be part of your team doesn't know how to solve the problem or doesn't know what the exact doesn't know what exactly the solution to the problem is but has the mental agility to actually learn to solve the problem and i think that attitude trumps accurate solution any given day terribly close to gym time i know the thing it's terribly close to quitting time but right now it's terribly close to gym time and 75% of my body is like, no, just go to sleep. The 25%, you're gonna listen to the 25% because I'm gonna feel energetic right after this. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.